Hi, this is Gary with MacBose.com. Let me show you how you can create a quick access folder for your Mac's dock. Let's say you have some things that you access all the time, some files, some folders, some websites, maybe some applications, maybe some other things that you do. It would be great to be able to have a menu where you can quickly access these. It turns out you can pretty easily create this for the doc. Now I'm gonna start off here in the documents folder, which is a great place to create folders for all sorts of purposes. I'm going to create a folder in documents called quick access. You can name it anything you like. And once I have this folder, it's just empty and sitting there, I'm going to add it to the doc. The way to do that is to drag the folder and put it on the right side of the doc. It's gotta be near the trash can here. I'm gonna stick it right there. And you can see I've got this folder called quick access in the doc. It can't go on the left, that's for applications only. So once you've got it there, you can now put things into this folder and you can access them in the doc. I'm going to dig down into this folder here and move this window over to the right and have a new finder window. And we'll use this to find things to put in here. So for instance, let's start off by looking in this folder called business. I've got a file here that I access all the time called balances. It's a number spreadsheet. I wanna put this in here. Now, I don't wanna just drag it over because you could see it moves it from that location and now it lives in the quick access folder. I'm going to put it back and instead I'm going to drag it over, but I'm gonna hold down the command and the option key at the same time. And notice how the little curved arrow appears there next to the icon. Now when I drop it here, I get it here and here. This is actually where the file lives. It's in documents, in business. This is an alias or a shortcut to this file. So you can double click this icon here and it actually opens up this file here. Let's go and add some other things. In the current folder here, I've got something called project notes. It's a text file. Let me do the same thing here. I'm gonna hold command to option and have an alias to this file here. Now I'm going to go down to my personal folder, and I've got a file called journal, it's a pages file. I'm going to also add an alias to it here. So now I've got these three files. If I go down now to the doc and click on this quick access folder, you can see I can access any of these files pretty easily. I click on it and it will actually open up this alias, which then in turn opens up the actual original file. So for this project notes text file, I just click on it there and it opens up. By the way, if you find these videos valuable, consider joining the more than 2,000 others that support MacMost at Patreon. You get exclusive content, course discounts, and more. You can read about it at macmost.com slash Patreon. Now next, let's customize how this looks. Instead of using a little stack like that, I'm going to control click, right click, or two finger click on a trackpad on this dock icon, and I'm gonna change the display as a folder. And we're gonna customize that later. Now I'm also going to go in here and I'm going to change view content as to a list instead of automatic. So now when I click here, I get this nice little compact list that shows these three files. Let's go and add more here. Let's say we wanna add folders as well. So this current folder could be handy to have here. Let's go and drag that over and I'm gonna hold down command and option to create an alias. Make sure you do that or you'll be moving the folder over. And let's add some other folders. Let's add this projects folder here. Again, command and option to do an alias. And let's do this receipts folder as well. So now we have three folders here and we can now click here and we could see that we've got folders as well as files. Now it'd be nice to be able to actually dig down into the folder. Here I can actually select this folder and it opens up the folder in a new finder window. But it'd be nice to actually be able to dig down into it it turns out you can. It's just that the doc is a little slow sometimes and has to realize this is an alias to a folder, not an alias to a file. So let's go into options here and then change sort by to kind. But I'm just gonna change it right back to name. And then now I can see it's realized that those are folders. And now I can actually look at one and it gives me a list of all the files there. I can look at this one and it gives me a list of all the files in there. So it's easy to access the files in these folders, you can even go and dig down into subfolders here. You have access to all the files in those. But let's not stop with files and folders. Let's do applications as well. So in the finder window here, I'm gonna choose go, and I'm gonna to go to applications, which goes to the main level applications folder. And let's say we wanna add some quick access to various applications. 
The Passwords app is a good one. If I drag it over here, notice it automatically creates an alias for it. I don't have to hold down the option and command. It's because it knows it's not supposed to be moving the applications out of the applications folder. So let's move that one there. Let's put Pixelmator Pro over there. Uh, let's go and also choose my favorite text editor here, Cut Editor. So now we've got applications there. I can click there and I can see the applications are all intermingled there. Let's add links. So I'm going to go in Safari here to a website and I can drag right here. I have to grab right in the middle of the address right there. And I could drag this over. And what it's going to do is create a file that's a little web link. So let's go and do it for that. And let's do it for Apple site as well. And you can see now I've got that. You can see apple.weblock, right? So now I can look here and I can see these. If I want to go to one of these websites, I can click here and it goes to it. So now I've got files, I've got folders, I've got apps, and I've got websites. You could do even more than that. So for instance, let's go into the Shortcuts app here. And the Shortcuts app allows you to do all sorts of things. For instance, I've got this shortcut from a previous tutorial that gives you instant access to the System Preferences text replacement section. So if I wanted to add that there, I could simply select this and choose File and then Add to Dock. And what it's going to do is it's going to create a little mini app and then put it here in the dock. We want it to be over here, Quick Access. So I'm going to Control click on it and choose Options and Show in Finder. And it will open up the Applications folder. This is my User Account Applications folder, not the main one. And there's the little app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this little app into the Quick Access folder. It will move it from there, which is fine. I'm also going to remove it here from the dock. I don't need it there, but I will find it under Quick Access and it's listed there. And I can actually use this as a shortcut. And in this case, it takes me right to text replacements. Here's another one I created that uses a simple send email action to send an email to one of my contacts. And it just fills in a little subject and body right there. If I were to do the same thing here, I'll choose File, Add to Dock, drag it over, I'm going to remove it from the dock there. And now I've got this Email Joe item here. I can select that and it executes that shortcut, which opens up this little email here. There's all sorts of different shortcuts you can create to do lots of different things. Those are just two examples. Now let's continue to customize this a bit. If you notice, if you control click on this here, I can change the sort by to kind. So right now I see everything mixed in and it's all alphabetical. Let's do sort by and then kind. And now you can see the order is different. You could see here that the files and folders, they're all mixed together, but the little apps here, they're separate. And so are the little web links. You can rename things here in this quick access folder. The aliases don't have to have the same names as the original items. So for instance, let's say I want to number the files here. So here's that journal. Let's make that number one. I'll just put one space journal. And if I go to my documents folder here and I look in personal where that journal is, you can see the journal name is still the same. So I can rename these to be something more convenient for sorting. I can do project notes as two and I can do balances here as three. And this is nice because now I can look and these are all together like that. I can put them in any order I want. Let's get the folders all together too. We could put something like, we can rename this as folder current, or we can use a special character. I'm going to use control command space to bring up the emoji special character viewer. I can search here for folder and use one of these. I'm going to use this one right here. And I'm going to put a little folder icon there. I'm actually going to copy that and I'm going to paste it here for each one of those like that. So now this is what it looks like. Those folders are together because alphabetically they start with the same character. Then I've got my files in an order there. You can even go further if you want and you can create folders inside of Quick Access. So I'm going to create a new folder here and let's go and call this apps and let's move the apps in there. So there's Pixelmator, Passwords and Cot Editor. I'll put them in there. Let's create another folder. We'll call this links and let's uh, move this one in here. This one's got a really long name. It's taken from the title of the page. I'll just rename this, make it shorter, and I'll move this one in here. And now we can go here and I could see there's apps. There are my apps. 
and there are links. And there are my links. So I can kind of organize this by creating these subfolders as well. There's one last thing. Let's go and make this to be a better icon. So I've actually got a graphic here. It's, this is just a PNG file. So you can create this in your favorite image editing app. You can download icons from online uh, and you can just you know, have this icon here. You could see it in preview. I'm going to select all in preview and copy. You could also just copy this file here, though sometimes the finder has difficulty with that. And I'm going to go to quick access here. I'm actually going to go up a level, command click here and go up to documents and select quick access right there. Do file and then get info. Click here, right on this icon here in the get info window and command V to paste. And we'll paste this custom icon here. Now notice that custom icon is reflected in the dock. So I can have this be a folder or a picture or anything I want here. It's just a little nicer to be able to spot it with a custom icon. And now you have access to all these different things. And you could always go back into this quick access folder, add more things, remove things you're no longer using, reorganize things, rename things, continue to work with this, update it to have the items that you need quick access to all in this one little item here on the right side of your dock. And like I said, you can use shortcuts to add all sorts of different items in here that do different things. I'm just showing a quick example of some of the things that you can add, but really the sky's the limit. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.